Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to cover Amber Heard handwriting and Enneagram. The Enneagram is a personality model mapping behavioral tendencies and the motivation behind them. Amber Heard is most likely a type six, whereas Johnny Depp is a type four. The Enneagram has nine distinct and consistent patterns. In stress, they are both emphatic and demonstrative and want others to feel the way they do to be understood. The patterns are briefly described in my summary book, The Enneagram. Type six is the loyalist. Their priority theme is to project devotion, loyalty, to maintain a trustworthy image. The message they send out is I'm dependable and reliable. They are prone to avoid personal rejection and they do so through devotion and loyalty. Others see anxiety, skepticism, blind obedience, suspiciousness, and ambivalence. These children were raised in an unpredictable environment with no safe place to go to. They lost their security, their safety, and they worry whether they will ever be protected. They turned inward, reject their inner intuition, and learn to doubt reality. The average six weigh their independence, independent decision-making versus their need for support, asking others for help to decide. They seek reassurance and worry about meeting conflicting demands. Their fear for loss of support makes them anxious, suspicious, and ambivalent. Although they constantly prepare for the worst, and that reduces the self-doubt temporarily, this chronic mistrust eventually push others away. At average levels, mental health levels, they reject trust, so they start to doubt themselves. We see in their pattern that they become ambivalent, skeptical, suspicious, and also cynical and authoritarian. When they fail to realize that their overreactions will drive others away, their behaviors remain emotionally needy, panicky, paranoia may set in, and even hateful, hysterical overreactions. Here is a sample of the handwriting of Amber Heard. The writing is cursive. There is a forward slant suggesting quick reactions, quick thinking, impulsivity, and a need for people contact. These people tend to speak before they think. With the speed being above average, it adds to enthusiasm and uh, spontaneity, and also intuitiveness. The mid zone is undersized, while the upper zone and lower zone are enlarged. This suggests a limited mediation between ideation and acquisition of physical imperatives. These riders can be a loose cannon with poor urge control. Here we see the personal pronoun I. The distorted father stroke encircled in red implies self-doubt about how to move forward. As I have mentioned in other videos, abuse at a young age is suspected. And that makes sense because Amber Heard retraces habitually. Retracing is when an upstroke retraces the previous downstroke. These riders repress painful memories of their past and do not want to deal with them on an emotional level. They often lack coping mechanisms and lack logic to analyze antagonistic situations leading to extreme emotional outbursts. Repression of emotionality is for difficult situations in the past 
leads to pent up emotions and they must eventually surface. Since the writing has bloated lower zone structures, including drooping finals, it would not surprise me at all if the repressed painful memories are sexual in nature. And that would be in line with the opening sentence in her op-ed. I was exposed to abuse at a very young age. Her connecting strokes are called garland, they're rounded. A soft baseline implies a relaxed approach, little or no aggressive forces and a gentle nature. It enhances such traits as helpfulness, receptiveness and nurturing qualities at mentally healthy levels. The stem of the bee is the first drawn comparison line, which is then copied and pasted on the F. The stem of the F leaps strongly forward and suggests a person who can suddenly and explosively react, defending a fragile self-esteem. Successive higher strokes we see in the M and the W and a multiple other letters. The success of higher stroke implies fear for ridicule and being self-conscious. The drooping finals imply resignation and chronic disappointment. The angular structure in the body of the T implies harshness and crudeness. The stem of the D was lengthened because it was not quote unquote tall enough in her mind. Tall D stems are linked to vanity or pride in their personal value system and lifestyle. The excessively tall D stem also moves further away from reality, suggesting prone to not being able to distinguish fantasy from reality. These writers can be fantasy rich and prone to exaggerate. They exaggerate a reality because they feel they would otherwise not be believed. Here we see how the lower zone structure goes through the body of the Y, the mid zone structure. These writers want to know what you are thinking and they push to find out. This suggests social intrusiveness. Testimony revealed she kept pushing Deb to talk while he just needed to get away. Deb likely felt overwhelmed by this behavior. This is called an invasive lower zone. The lower zone is long, bloated, and moves through the next line. An invasive lower zone implies subjective and scattered thinking. It suggests restlessness, spreading oneself thin while being involved in too many activities and not finishing any of them. These writers tend to lose perspective. The bloating rounded structures add to emotional attachment, an increase of imprinting of memories and overreactivity. There is also an excessive need for acquisition. Johnny Depp testified Hurt was extremely ambitious and wanted more and more. Letters dropping below the baseline imply uncontrollable subconscious urges. And this happens in her PPI, her personal pronoun I, and that is particularly significant because it's personal. This implies overreaction on the personal level or the need to defend her ego structure. Nancy Grace and Dominic Strauss-Kahn also drop letters below the baseline. It's called forced energy. So her handwriting, not his, but her handwriting shows she's intuitive, reactive, has poor urge control, has self-doubt, is intrusive, scattered in her thinking, over-involvement and spreading self thin. She is self-conscious, fear for ridicule. Explosive outbursts are to be expected. And quite frankly, this is a distinct pattern 
and consistent with how Amber Heard described herself and with the testimonial audios in the 2022 trial.